From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Jason White. Canada is marking the one-year anniversary of Hamas's October 7th attack on Israel. Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie says Canada will not stop calling for the immediate release of all hostages, including those killed in captivity. Far too many innocent civilians, including women and children, have been killed in this conflict. And we continue to work tirelessly to bring back peace and security in the Middle East, particularly through a two-state solution where Israelis and Palestinians can live side by side in peace and security. On Parliament Hill, MPs from multiple parties called on Canadians to not only remember the attack of one year ago, but also to do more to combat the hatred that's risen since. Members of Vancouver's Jewish community say they feel profound sadness and ongoing unease. Multiple police and at least one police dog were posted outside the city's Talmud Torah school as parents dropped off their children. Parent Ali Sachs broke down in tears. It's hard to drop your kid off somewhere where you have to see police in front Um, and it's emotional for all of us we're all in a state of grief The Hamas attack in Israel killed about 1,200 people, while about 250 more were taken hostage. Local authorities say the Israeli counteroffensive in Gaza has left more than 41,000 Palestinians dead. Billionaire businessman Frank Stronach has had his sex assault case put over to next month as lawyers work to have the matter moved to a court in Toronto. Stronach faces multiple charges after 13 complainants came forward with allegations dating back to 1977 and spanning to as recently as February of this year. A Crown attorney says prosecutors have agreed to transfer the case to Toronto, where most of the offences are alleged to have occurred. The 92-year-old was first arrested by Peel Police in early June, and the latest charges against him were filed late last month. He has denied all allegations against him and vowed to defend his reputation. Emily Jovesky, The Canadian Press, Toronto. Hurricane Milton has now strengthened into a Category 5 storm, setting the stage for a dangerous storm surge in Tampa Bay. Tampa's mayor, Jane Castor, says people need to evacuate. As I often say, if you want to take on Mother Nature, she wins 100% of the time. Tampa hasn't been directly smacked by a major hurricane since 1921. Alternative rock band Guster lead singer Ryan Miller has a new gig even he's a bit surprised about. Musical theater songwriter. He's part of a growing trend of alt-rockers, bringing a new sound to the space carved out by giants like Andrew Lloyd Webber. Will Butler of Montreal's Arcade Fire is fresh off the success of the Tony-winning play Stereophonic. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, Calgary Flames forward Igor Sharanagovich is on the injured reserve list with a lower body injury. He was hurt in Calgary's preseason finale Friday. Many NHL teams making final roster decisions today. The Toronto Maple Leafs signed veteran forward Max Pacioretty to a one-year contract. Home teams have the edge as both American League Division Series resume. The Cleveland Guardians are hosting the Detroit Tigers. Later, New York looks to build on its opening victory over Kansas City. Vancouver's new professional women's soccer team team has a prominent new owner, soccer legend Christine Sinclair. She says the new National Super League will provide important opportunities for girls across Canada to see women's professional soccer. I just think of myself as like a 10-year-old if I had the opportunity to go watch professional women's soccer like every second weekend. Um, how that would have impacted my life and changed my life. Sinclair will retire from playing pro soccer later this year. From the Canadian Press, I'm Jason White. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the CanadianPressNews.ca.